What's a non-sexual thing that you find super hot? Being a good hugger. Seeing someone write gracefully. Almost unnecessary reassurance. It makes me feel so cared about. I have this weird thing where I love people reading a map, specifically where they are looking for a particular place and are concentrating very hard. A really genuine smile and interest in a conversation. Even if the conversation doesn't even include me, I get really turned on when I see a guy genuinely interested in the person he is talking to. I don't know why. I guess I like respectful, kind people. When a guy is reversing the car and he puts his arm on the passenger seat chair and looks behind, while I'm in the passenger seat, something so sexy about it. I learned quite recently that women find hands hot. Suddenly so many episodes of women measuring their hands against mine when I was a teen, early 20s make sense and all those wasted opportunities have passed me by. But here I am now in my 30s flexing my hands around like they're a nice cleavage or something. It seems to be the more ah, uh, vascular, the better. I mean, whatever floats your boat ladies. Edit. Maybe I should start in only hands. When they zip up your backpack while you're wearing it cuz you forgot it was open. The other day at the dinner table all three kids were losing their sit over various nonsense. We couldn't calm any of them because you could barely hear yourself think. And my usually rather quiet wife who avoids conflict and who I have maybe heard raise her voice on only one or two occasions roared. Enough. For a few seconds after you could hear a pin drop, it was so sexy. My bedroom above the garage. When my wife wears my t-shirts as pajamas. Speaking another language. Watching the guy I'm dating drive, something about seeing him handle the wheel and thinking about his hands. A girl tying up her hair bun. Smiling and laughter. When they remember minuscule details about things you told them days before. Women singing, she doesn't even have to be really good at it. Seeing, sharing and then noticeably reciprocating excitement. Abdominal region, IDKY. A well-fitted suit ponytails passion interest in a subject when a girl who usually doesn't accidentally swears i love when my wife walks around the house barefoot i don't really have a foot fetish but it makes me think that she's comfortable with me and i think that's hot trains at high speed this is a bit lame but i really like watching it when my husband buckles and or unbuckles his belt I think it stems from watching Indiana Jones buckling his belt in Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's pretty hot. Smooth, soft skin yes I've heard all the Buffalo Bill jokes. Eye contact. Voice. Being able to fix things, being handy. Nice smell. Kindness. Genuinely friendly, good people. Glasses. White button-down shirts, rolled up sleeves, I can't even begin to describe their power over me. Intelligence. Long wet hair. Chubby cheeks and I do mean the ones on the face. Over knee socks. Sundresses. A sense of humor, especially if they're capable of laughing at themselves. Some people take themselves too seriously these days. Commitment. I'm not talking about the ring. I mean emotional investment and support. When you feel protected around them, that sit turns me on so fast. Dads that are great with their kids. Hugs from someone who legitimately cares. And hand-holding. Only about four people are allowed that close to me though. Collarbones. Guys who are shy. I DKY but shy ones are always really nice and some of them are super hot. Don't get me wrong there's some shy guys who do look a bit. Not nice. But some shy dudes are really hot and when you speak to them they get really flustered and blush. That's how me and my boyfriend met. He was sitting alone in class and I had nowhere to sit so I sat to next to him. A few minutes and I asked him how his day was and he got really flustered and was speaking nervously. Eventually me and him became friends then we got together and life's been great since. Everyone here seems fairly well adjusted. And I'm just here with power armor. Even though it's technically hypothetical. Put a guy in something that looks like it could smash through a wall and I'll climb that. Women who wear clothes that make them look slick, like a suit or fitted wear. Women. I'm a 90s kid so I'm going with a girl in a sundress and combat boots. Men that can cook. I'm passable myself, so no it's not laziness. I've had an ex who was a great cook, and once I took a bite, no joke, there was this total rush of attraction. So much that I stopped and said, you are so attractive right now. Everything is sexual if you're brave enough. Skirts. 
my boyfriend loves to teach me about the stuff he's super interested in, and it's probably one of the most attractive things he does. He recently started playing one of the newer Pokemon games and has been explaining how all of it works, and it's been my favorite thing. Nice hair. Sports bras. It's a major turn on for me. Almost as much as non-sports lingerie. The way a woman's hair smells when she's been outside in the sun and fresh air all day. It's hard to explain, but it's intoxicating. When a guy puts his hand on the car's headrest when he's looking to back out, rolling up their sleeves on a button-down shirt or putting on cufflinks, being thoughtful and doing things without having to be asked, tying a tie, pulling a belt from the pants belt loops, seeing a guy getting along with and playing with kids. When girls are as nerdy as I am. Big wrinkle brain. When someone starts rambling about something they're super interested in. My boyfriend is a total physics and chemistry nerd, but I'm a lot more art focused. Even though I don't understand most of what he says, I love hearing the passion in his voice. He feels the same about me. First love marine biology and animals in general. And sometimes I can spend 30 minutes to an hour just bombarding him with animal facts at teaching him about them. Just the other day, we spent a good hour messaging back and forth while I told him all about sharks. Like how different species hunt their prey, their individual adaptations, etc. It's a lot of fun dating a nerd lol. Sun dresses. I have to say girls in suits are my weakness. I just crumble. When people are mature. I find them very attractive and cool. I'm talking about those people who can remain calm during an argument. Who don't judge other people and just live in peace. Shorts. Pajamas and messy hair. I can't explain why, but shoulders. Edit. I should specify men's shoulders I think omg. Adult playfulness. It's not automatically hot per se. I am not turned on by just anyone doing something silly. But seeing your chosen other, or a crush or a lover, just be fully relaxed and silly and gleeful makes me want to kiss them so, so bad. Punk rocker style clothes on girls. The sound of a woman walking in heels. Dunno why. I just asked my wife what a non-sexual thing is that she finds hot and she said soup. Face cheeks. Especially chunky ones and beauty marks. Strange one but I find someone wearing a watch kinda hot no clue where that comes from. Just love the way they look on people. Which is weird cause I can't stand wearing one myself. Accents. When my wife parallel parks in a gap I wouldn't attempt. Forearms. No idea why. Extra points of tatted. Jeans or yoga pants. High top ponytails. They bounce when girls walk and it looks so cheerful and cute. This might be a bit out of place among these other answers, but I really like being sat on. It's weirdly comforting. Curled hair. Very attractive. A girl that's witty just takes me off my feet. Conversation. In depth. Deep conversation. Dimples. Scottish accents. You know when you leave a party with your so? Like that moment after everyone has been drunk and loud for a while, and you didn't really want to be there in the first place but going out with your so's friends is what you do. And it's been hours of pretending to be super into it, and you've been having fun but it's also exhausting. That moment where the two of you just get to leave together and breathe a sigh of relief and fall back into being entirely yourselves and just relax. That moment is super hot for me. I wonder if there's a word for it. Girls who can easily beat the living sit out of me, please don't ask why. For me long fingers. Also to add, my colleague's weakness finds natural lighter colored eyes, like blue, green, gray, super hot. Goofiness. My wife is a complete dork and it's incredibly attractive, so attractive. She's no longer single. Common sense. Certain voices law, or like tone of voice. A ponytail on the right girl just looks sexy as hell. Molten lava. If a guy has a skincare regime, also someone who is a safe, responsible driver. When a guy reverses a car and turns his head to look behind. And when they turn the wheel really quickly lord. Necklines. I don't why. But I think they're hot. I don't even know what exactly I'm talking about. Not multi-chins. But like these horizontal lines. I feel like I sound a lot creepier than when I started typing. Intelligent. Secure women with their own unique personality are so hot. Look I'm a straight dude. But when a guy wears a well-fitting, tailored to perfection, three-piece suit I do question my sexuality. Girls in dresses. Just something about it. My girlfriend finds me extremely sexy when I drive. IDKY, but ill take it. Flamenwerfer. 
long and sleek fingers, glasses, messy hair, sharp canines, genuine smiles, goofiness, sweet natural smell. Girls in ponytails wearing ball caps, crooked smiles. This will get buried but I just love seeing my husband hold a baby. Doesn't make me want another child, I just think it's really hot. Girls with curly hair. Men sticking up for me, other people, themselves. Empathy and respect. Someone hit my BF's car on the passenger side and the door wouldn't open, so I had to sit in the back seat for a few weeks. Whenever he looked at me in the rearview mirror, it made me feel a certain way. I'm having a the bar is this low moment but doing housework or anything else that helps me without being asked to.